Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where we felt a large <laughs> impact last night. I think a meteor has landed somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure where that would be. Because sometimes you get some nice stuff from a meteorite but uh, at this stage of the game I don't know whether it would be anything really good. Uh, oh there it is. See, hello. Ooh, some silver ore very nice so today is the day it is the first of summer that we can start catching sharks and there will be a couple of new bugs to catch as well so i'm actually going to go back inside now i've uh, checked out where the large impact came from i kind of just wanted to make sure it hadn't damaged anything outside to be honest let's go to the computer and have a little look around on there so insect forecast let's have a look so I'm pretty sure we're looking for wolf spiders. So there will be wolf spiders in the forest at night. In the hillside at night. Uh, in the town at night. Garden lane? No, not in garden lane. So forest, hillside and town. Okay, in the beach we'll have a crowned hair streak butterfly. And that's it. I thought there was another butterfly. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Right, okay, so on a windy day, we'll need to go and try and get that um, other blue morpho butterfly. But it is not a windy day today. It is a, I believe, a sunny day today. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Wet and rainy. Okay, well, I'll check the, the stuff tomorrow, but... Uh, what I need to do for now, I think, is to go over to the forest and everything like that. And just see. Uh, I don't think... I've got some traps down in the giant's village that I don't think I'm going to need to keep there. So, first things first, let's sort those out and take those back up because I don't need them here. They would be better off in the forest or somewhere else. So, we were basically trying to catch... Um, I think it was the green jumper over here, and we didn't end up catching it over here. We ended up catching it by the lake anyway. So I'm going to take those down to town or something. Uh, yeah, I'll take them to town. I've got some in the forest as well, so I th I'm going to go to the forest just so I can get the traps um, cleared out down there. So that we've got a, we're starting to get chances of catching the things we need. Tiger swallowtail. I, it was a butterfly, I just needed to make sure that it wasn't the one we were looking for. Oh, okay, I've moved the traps from here. I could have sworn I had traps here. Okay, well, in that case, that's where these ones are going to go. These giant ones. And then we'll move the ones from down by the lake, which is probably where everything else is. Um, and we do have one over here. Butterfly trap. Well, we did. What have I done with my butterfly? This is the problem with these traps. I put them places and then I've got no idea where they are. Ah. But at least we're starting on the wolf spider. Um, okay. Let's go over to the lake then and just move the ones from there over to like a split them between town and hillside, I think. Because the, the land traps are only for catching that spider. That's the one thing I have to catch this summer. That's it. 
Crazy, I know. Actually, while I'm in the woodlands... Hmm. Yeah. Let's go. I know I've got a load of stuff to open at the blacksmiths as well. So we'll do that in a bit. But uh, getting these tra insect traps up and running is the is the way forward at the moment. Hmm. Do I still have my geodes and coffers? I've got some, I guess. I can open them up while we're here. I think these are the ones I got at the end of last time. Doubt I'm going to get anything particularly new, but, you know, maybe. Okay. Anything I don't... Magic lamp has been donated. Sundial, yes, yes, yes. Pearl brooch, yes. Stone hand axe, yes. Gemstone. Carved ring holder. I've seen that a million times. Ship wheel, yes. Small figurine, yeah. Okay, I don't think there's anything that I can hand into the museum. However, because I'm paranoid, I'm going to visit the museum and just make sure. So, I can't have missed any. If I go here and there's nothing showing up, then I know I've not missed anything. Which, no, I haven't. That's fine. I'll go and sell those so that my inventory isn't chock full, and then we'll go move the uh, the traps over. Um, I don't think there's anything that I need to plant in summer, like nothing for the altars or anything like that. So I'm okay if I don't actually plant anything. It's not the end of the world. And at the moment, to be honest, I am very, very busy trying to get other stuff done. So I might just not worry about it. For now, because so far the only thing I've really needed money for has been I've needed some money, a little bit of money for sort of get buying the rope and stuff like that. Um, I might need I could keep crops aside to get things out of the gacha machine. Doesn't really bother me. It, I like I, I want to finish the game, not worry about all that. So anyway, I may do some planting off camera. Possibly that might be what we'll do. <laughs> You don't need to see me plant the farm again. If I do any decorating or rearranging, I'll make sure that that is on camera. Okay, lots of stuff caught in these traps. Uh, I didn't get my axe. That was the one thing I went in there for. Ugh, that's so annoying. So I want to take these traps and put them either in the hillside or in the in the town. So probably two in town, two in hillside, three in forest, and then we'll just go around all of those and we'll just check them all out and stuff. I never know what counts as hillside though. <laughs> That's my problem. Like are we in hillside right now? I think this might count as hillside. This counts as forest. I'd rather put them around the town and know that... I... Yeah, I'm going to put them all in the town because I don't. what I don't want to do is put them somewhere where it's not the right place. That would drive me mad. I'm pretty sure if I put them... This, this is vineyard, and then down here, I think now counts as... And there's a nice little spot where I tend to put things over here. I'm pretty sure over here, around these fountains, counts as town. So, we're going to be doing that. I'm going to be ignoring the jingles, because I don't care anymore. Where did they go? Where's my traps? Oh, there. Alright, so... On there... Oh, 
one there. One there. One there. Okay, so we've got four traps around the town, and then we've got some traps around. So, uh, museum point. Museum fast travel point, and the other one. So, right, now let's go and see which sharks we can get. So, I want to go back to the farm now. <clears throat> I've no idea. And I'll check in all my... I don't know where my flying traps have all gone. Oh, there are two of them. Okay. Uh, I will go and stick those on the beach quickly. Once I know which shark I'm looking for. I need to make more of those, though. Uh, okay, so... Fish forecast. I think they're going to be down, like, by the... Lighthouse or something? Here we are. So, the Raja Ampat shark from 6 o'clock onwards. And there was another one. Would that be... Okay, right now, until 4 o'clock. Town Dock Ocean. Okay. I can give it a go. Town Dock Ocean. It's hard to know what to do sometimes though, because I've like, I, well, I feel like I had all this time before, and I was trying to get like loads of other things done, and suddenly I'm like, I've got no time. <laughs> I'm trying to put all the traps everywhere and fish at the same time, and. If I don't get my axe, if I get the sharks and I don't get my axe, don't blame me, okay? Because I'd rather have the shark. <laughs> the axe will be there tomorrow. The shark will only be there for two weeks. This could be one. A grouper, okay. So we'll be here till six, and then we're moving over to the lighthouse. Clownfish. That's a very fast dude. Another grouper. Got another hour to look at this now. Another clownfish. <laughs> I don't think there are weather restrictions on the sharks, though. I think they're any weather, so I think we can still get them in the rain tomorrow. But the quicker that I get the sharks, the quicker I can start working on the insects. not have to like worry about doing two things at once you know how oh, many little guys well, that's a bit of a one isn't it might be a grouper again though oh it's an octopus okay well we just hit six o'clock so the uh, fish have changed so I'm going to head over to the town. Uh... Where's the closest teleporter? Oh, so annoying. Oh, up here, up here, okay. Uh, right. So then I'm going to go over to the... It was the lookout, right? I'm going to go to the farm. I, I can't afford to waste an entire evening fishing in the wrong place, so... I want to make absolutely sure it was the lookout. 
Or lighthouse? Yeah, lighthouse. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's lighthouse on the map, but the actual teleporters look out. That's why I keep saying look out. I was like, I wonder why I keep saying look out when it's lighthouse. That is why. Okay, so we keep going here till, I think, midnight. And then from 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, I can fish for the other... I haven't even let my animals out today, but uh, honestly, like, they'll forgive me. Double fish. I would love to go and check my traps, but I think I'm going to have to just check them in the morning. And put my traps down by the beach as well, but I've got the whole of summer to get those. Whereas I only have the first two weeks to get the sharks. This might be something rare, because it's quite... as a mackerel, really... Nothing better than a mackerel, really. Well, this might be it. <laughs> oh, it's a squid. Okay, there's a lot of things that are like seem like they could be it because it's they're very very wiggly. So, hmm, we'll see. <clears throat> there we are <laughs> a raja and pat shark legendary saltwater fish it can walk along the seafloor and over shallow reefs. Lovely. Shark number two is gotten. So we'll try and get the other shark tomorrow. I wasted, not wasted, but um, a lot of the day was spent. So I'm going to start on the insect traps now. A lot of the day was spent. Did I bring my insect traps? Oh yeah, there they are. I see them. I'll put those two on the beach, and then I might need to make some more, depending on how quickly we catch these butterflies. Just depends on how many things there are on the beach to catch. If there's a lot, then sometimes it catches all sorts of other stuff. And two is just not going to cut it, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, right, so let's go to forest and see if we've caught any wolf spiders over there and if we have not then we'll just empty the traps out it helped have my net out just in case one is running around luckily that was some kind of caterpillar but I've really got to watch it okay nothing there as yet okay that's fine and then the rest were in the town, so let's go and have a look at those ones, see if anything's uh, run, run into those yet. Uh, wrong way. So we'll be fishing here tomorrow to try and get the other shark. We've got one out of two, which is not bad going. Where did I even put those? Why do those stairs go to nowhere? It drives me mad. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. No, nothing's been caught. Okay, right. Time to go home then. And 
and we will continue shark catching in the morning because if I can get the sharks over the first couple of days then like I say then we've only got insects to worry about and it's always my biggest concern my biggest concern is always at the very start of the season getting as many insects and fish to finish off the collections as I can so let's go to bed I will catch the shark and then I'll go check the insect traps. So the first day of summer. We didn't make much money. We didn't really even let the animals out. I'll try and let the animals out tomorrow. No, it's raining tomorrow. I won't let the animals out tomorrow. Maybe I'll just have to feed them some hay. Oh, Lindy. Oh, I saw that little sad face. No, we can't. Lindy looks happy today. Okay, so let's go and check the computer and just make sure that the shark is available today. Ah, oh, sorry, it wasn't there. It was this one. Oh, no. I'm guessing not on a rainy day. Uh, let's see. Yep, yeah, has to be windy or sunny. So what's it going to be tomorrow? It's sunny tomorrow, so we'll catch it. We'll hopefully catch it tomorrow. So today, uh, what are we going to be looking for? Let's see, blue morpho. Windy day, lake or forest. Okay, so the wolf spider is still catchable today. Nice to know. So that's the only thing that we can catch today, potentially. The hillside is like around by the... Okay, around that area, around by the carpenters. Okay, well, let's go and just check all the insect traps then. And I will possibly work on making some more. Tomorrow will be sunny, so more for the beach, I guess. <clears throat> I can check the traps as well, can't I? Because they might have caught something overnight. So I'll check them first. And be very careful just in case there is a spider lurking somewhere. <gasps> Yay, we got one already. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. So we've got two things for the museum now. We've got the spider and the shark. So we've got the two butterflies now and the other shark to get. So I think the rest of today, uh, it would behoove me to go and make a bunch of flying insect traps if I can. Okay, so hillside. Um, you see them? So we can donate the wolf spider and the Raja Ampat shark. Lovely. So now if I look at collections, uh, we've got one more shark to get. So we'll finish the shark collection as soon as we can catch that great white. Insect collection still has three. The two butterflies. And then there's an eastern black swallowtail I'll have to catch in fall. So, yeah, two butterflies and then one more fall creature that I didn't manage to catch last fall. Fossils, we've got five to go. <laughs> Critters, we've got three to go. They're all in fall. Artifacts, we've got ten to go. Uh, gems, we got one fire and two earth to go. Okay. Well, I guess I can go and just make uh, flying insect traps, number one. Oh, actually, I should check the beach. Because what, what if it's already there? I don't know. I haven't checked. I'm just assuming it's not there already. Because yesterday it wasn't raining. Polyphenous moth. 
That is not what I was looking for. That's okay. Just making sure they're already donated. So no, we didn't get them today. That's fine. So let me go and make a whole bunch of flying insect traps. And once I've done that, we can we can go to the blacksmiths and open some geodes and stuff. Right. To the farm. How do we make a flying insect trap? I've got a lot of things that I can just sell here. Where I've been fishing and things. Lovely. Right, so crafting. Uh, flying insect trap. Ugh, one day I'll see it. Where are you? There. So gold bars, glass, and any honey. I've had honey going over here for ages and I've not been picking it up. So maybe there's some honey in the chest. There's like millions. That's been just constantly going. There's so much honey. Orchid, blue dahlia, iris. I think orchid and blue dahlia is quite expensive. Mind you, do I care? Do I care if it's expensive? No, I do not. I care that I catch these insects. That's what I care about. Right, we need gold bars. So, let's go and put some in the... So, I can go put that one down by the beach. Then we're going to need more gold bars. In fact, I am going to put the honey back in this chest. Then at least I know where it is. Okay. Okay. So let's see, do we have any gold? We do have a little bit. I've got enough to make five bars, which will make me five insect traps, hopefully, and a bit of coal there. So let's get that going, and then we can make a load more flying insect traps. We can put some down by the lake. What I'm hoping is that I'll be able to catch the, butterf the more easy-to-get butterfly first, and then we'll be able to sort of work on the one that only comes out in windy conditions it's going to be sunny conditions tomorrow so there's absolutely no point in putting anything by the lake today so if i check the weather forecast each day i'll be able to kind of work out where the traps actually need to be once i've caught the other butterfly once i've caught that butterfly then we'll just put them all by the what was it the lake the lake in the forest so we'll put them all there Oh. Apologies for all the <laughs> of me getting up and down. <laughs> yeah, let's go put this down somewhere nice. Never know what we'll catch. Nothing today because it's not a... Butterflies generally don't like the rain. Apparently great white sharks don't either, so oh oh well. Alright, so we're just going to wait for the gold to be done, which will give us a load more flying insect traps, which gives us more chances of catching it each day. Right, so let's head back to the farm, grab any coffers, uh, ores, all of that sort of stuff that we can. I don't think I'll do fossils today. Day. If well, I might do, but I'll come back for them. So fossils, you can go away. And I've got all this annoying like silver and stuff like that there that needs to really go up in the other storage. I can find somewhere to pop that, like here. That would be great. 
Because honestly, we've got more gold there. I do want that. Gold and coal, because we're going to need that. So, yeah, let's just... Um, I will sort this out off camera. It is a mess, I am aware. <laughs> I will sort it out off camera. Put those in there, that's fine. These are almost dump chests at this point. All right, so now I've got enough donations. We've got mystery geode, we've got some earth geodes, we've got some fire geodes that we found. Wind, water, wind and water, I'm not expecting anything that much from. And then all the different coffers that we found. So there's a chance that we might find something out of those and I'll go and pick up my axe at the same time. Great episode today though so far because we've caught out of the five things that I had to catch, we've caught two of them already. So I'm absolutely super pleased with that. Okay, retrieve upgraded tool, we'll do that first. So that's, that's ne we never have to upgrade an axe again. All right, let's see, earth geodes. We're looking for granite or labradorite. No. Okay, so with these, we're looking for another red barrel. Nope, that's fine. Wasn't really expecting much. I don't think they're new in any kind of way. A uh, coal, really. These gems that I'm getting though, we'll take them over to uh, like the spare gems and artifacts. Really, we're really, really like full of stuff, aren't we? Wow. I'm gonna take them to the giant village and upgrade my uh, upgrade my stuff. So let's go into the inventory quickly, and I want to swap that coal. Uh, sorry, swap that axe over for that rope. I don't really know why I'm carrying around rope anymore either, but never mind. Then I'm gonna take uh, that over to the giant's village and we'll see if we can get some really nice upgrades, especially on the hook and the pickaxe. Possibly a bit on the osmium axe as well, but uh, those three particularly. So where was it? Was it here? Enchantment, here we are. So I've got extra drop and rare drop on it. I would much rather get rare drop, more rare drops, I think. Well, extra drop isn't too bad, but. Okay, we upgraded rare drop. I don't mind that. We upgraded extra drop. Don't mind that either. Mighty hit. Well, that might be useful. Well, that's looking pretty nice, isn't it? 80% rare drop. That's very nice. Okay, now let's do the hook now, the, the osmium scythe. Rare drop 40%. That is a big, big difference. Wow. Okay, all right. We'll go back to the blacksmiths now. If I can find my way. Uh, we'll go back to the blacksmiths and we will open all the coffers and anything that I get out of there we'll put into enchantments again so uh, with 
Woodlands is the best one to go to. I always forget which one's the best one to go to for the because there isn't one that says blacksmith, so I have to remember. Okay. Good start so far. Trash, kelp, and glass. Ah, what a shame it was the red mask and not the blue one. I can almost guarantee you this is going to take a lot of doing. Okay, that is fine. Let's uh, just head back. Do the giant village. Oh, yeah, other way, other way. The giant village. Uh, oh, in fact, we'll go via the museum just because, again, I'm just a bit paranoid that I might have missed something. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm looking for, just in case I have somehow missed something. No, I had a feeling that there was nothing there that I needed. We're so close on so many things. Right, so let's go back to the giant's village. And upgrade. I'm glad I'm doing this one on camera because, like, upgrading tools is an interesting and important thing, I think. Upgrading and enchanting and stuff, so. Let us, uh. See if we can get anything better for the Osmium Scythe. Rare drop 80. Nice. Hit drop 4%. Chance for a hit to drop items. So yeah, the, the we're like when we're in the caves and we're not we're we're like hitting the rubbish and we're not getting anything, now we're gonna get more. Oh, mighty hit decreases the charge tool use. No, I think I like swift swing better. Decreases charge tool use per speed. I'm gonna discard that one and keep swift swing. I have a metal boot left, but that's not really enough to do much with, so... I might just sell that and then come back with when I've got another big haul. Um, so at the moment, we'd, what, we'd like to get a, a second swift swing if we can. But we've done a really good job on that extra drop rare hit and mighty hit. That's really good. And then... Uh, I could do with putting some stuff in for the axe as well, if possible. The hoe and the watering can. Aww. See, the the hoe, what I could do with doing with that is starting to get that upgraded and um, getting things like extra drop and rare drop and things like that on it because then I can go to the beach and I can go around my farm and things like that and I can try and sort of see if I can get coffers out of those areas and then I can sort of maybe let either let them decay or... <clears throat> Excuse me, pickaxe them back out or something? I don't know. Probably on the beach they'll just re regen and then on my farm I'd have to re like cover them back up again. Okay, that is really cool. Let's go back to the farm and check how the gold is doing. And see if we can make any more insect traps. Because the more I can make, the more likely it is that tomorrow I'll wake up and they'll be full of lovely butterflies. So if I could get that first butterfly and the, uh, okay, so we've got one gold bar. Okay. That means I can make one more. 
grab a bit of honey. I'll get one more. I should be able to... I thought I was able to craft from those chests. Maybe those chests are not on the global... They, yeah, they must not be uh, attached to global inventory, which probably, honestly, is a, an okay thing. Silver blue dahlia honey. Okay, sounds good. And I'm not going to sell any of the honey until I know that I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to also put that one on the beach then. And then I think I might take a bit of an early night. Just for the sake of like the recordings and stuff. It would be nice if within the same episode I could at least check the insect traps in the morning. And if I could at least have a go at trying to catch, catch this shark. Because that was the main thing I wanted to do this session. And I haven't really had the chance to do it. So... Okay, these ones have got some stuff in them, but I don't need to worry too much about that, though, because we're fine. We're doing okay. And then I need to remember around the 22nd that we're going to start having the expeditions for the merfolk. Right, so back to the farm. Gonna put another piece of gold in. I, I didn't, I, I forgot. I forgot to put another one in, so we need to go and do that. I could do with feeding the animals. They are gonna be really unhappy with me, but to be honest, it's not too hard to get them to be happy with me again. Oh, I've got enough gold all for another one now. Oh, typical. Okay, I'll make one more insect trap and then I think we're going to go to bed. And I'm going to feed the animals. And I'm going to get stuck in my own gate. Yes, that's going to happen too. Poor things are going to be running out of room to lay eggs soon. <laughs> but that's another thing when I'm doing off camera work. I'll be able to tidy all that up. That's fine. Okay. What am I doing? I wanted to go to the barn, not the shed. I swear, I'm like my uh, my motor skills, uh, my motor memory is at this point just attuned to the shed. It's just like, yep, yeah, you clearly want to go to the shed because that's where you go every day. My poor horse hasn't been fed in about a month. I think the horse is, like, achievable when you don't need it anymore. When you literally have a fast travel point everywhere, it's like, ah, oh, have a horse! I'm like, okay. This game, I've never seen much of a point to the horses. There are some games where horses are super fun and super cool. This game, no, it, it just doesn't. I mean, they're super cool. Absolutely. Right, let's make one more insect thing. Uh, put it down by the beach again. And with a bit of luck in the morning, or I'll check it in the morning, then I'll go do my fishing. And everything, everything will be great. So let's go pop that down on the beach. It would be nice if we could end the week's worth of this, having got some real progress with the museum. Okay, let's find a nice spot for you. Maybe a little further down, actually. Maybe, like, around here if I can. Yeah. Have them nicely spread out. And then... Home to sleep. 
I want to make sure I just have enough uh, enough inventory space for any fish that I happen to catch. Okay, there's a few things that I could do here. Uh, sell that one. I'll get more silver kelp if I need them. I'll keep my ores. I'll put them away at some point. Yeah, that should be fine. And then, like I say, I'll probably, when I'm off camera doing all that stuff, and it's a bit more relaxed, I'll do a bit of an inventory sort, and then you don't have to look at that. Inventory sorting and going into the caves and the savannah to, like... I might go to the savannah um, in one episode soon, just to show you, like, getting the giant vegetables and things like that. Now we've got the axe. But obviously this episode, we really, really need to try and get those um, sharks as soon as we can. The butterflies have got all summer to do. That's fine. It's not so bad. Okay, so first thing I want to do today is check the weather forecast. Sunny tomorrow. So tomorrow will be another day if we don't, for whatever reason, we don't catch the shark today. Sorry, Lindy, I'll pet you when I get back. Time is of the essence today. Most days in this, no one cares. Today, we care. Today is a day where every second counts. So I need to get to the, the spot where I'm fishing and I need to fish. Then I will need to check the butterfly traps as well, but I'm hoping I can catch the fish, the, the shark fairly fast. Fingers crossed, we'll see. A grouper? I had a feeling it was going to be one of those because they seem like they're really hard to catch. They're not. They're not a difficult one. Well, maybe they are a rare one. I'm not sure. But they're certainly not a shark. Is that trash? It might be a coffer. No, it's not a coffer. It's a flyer. How annoying. I'm kind of wondering whether I should use like large bait or something. Well, if I'm struggling, if I get to like the tenth and I haven't caught it or something, then I'll maybe think about using bait. That is a barracuda. I'd need to double check its size because if I thought it was large and started using large bait and then didn't catch it because I was using the wrong bait, that'd be even worse. I think this is another grouper, but we'll see. No, it's another barracuda. I'm definitely in the right place. I definitely checked this. I didn't check it on the computer this morning, though. Oh, well, if we get to six o'clock and I haven't caught it, then I know that I've been in the wrong place all day. I mean, catching barracudas isn't a bad thing. They don't sell for a bad amount, to be honest. Kind of annoyed I'm catching trash, though. I spent a long time cleaning this place up to be catching trash in the water. So it could be a grouper, could be a shark, who knows? Could be a barracuda. I 
This one has an interesting pattern. A cobia. I kind of want to go back and check that the great white is available here, but then I also don't want to waste the time doing it. I wish I had checked it earlier when I was checking the weather. Another barracuda. I'm going to go and check. I, I hate myself for doubting myself like this, but I also don't want to waste your time if I'm wrong for some reason about it being there. I believe we've got another sunny day tomorrow, so that's fine too. So let's have a quick look. Fish forecast. Town Dock Ocean. Yeah, it's there till four. I was entirely right about it. I just had bad luck. And I'm now annoyed with myself for doubting myself. <laughs> I was just having a bit of an unlucky run. But we've got a few more catches that we can try now, so it's, it's fine. It's annoying because the barracudas are hard to really hard to catch. So I have to work really hard to get them, and then they're not even what I want. They're not even my shark. Stupid trash. I'm hoping it'll be a coffer. Every time that it, it, it's a dead weight, I hope it's a coffer. So that's why I always reel them in. I probably shouldn't, though. Oh, come on. Got two hours. And then I'll run around checking all my insect traps. Well, if you want a barracuda, I'm setting up my own barracuda shop in front of uh, fish and sips. <laughs> Barracuda barbecue. That was a really tricky one. I was hoping that was the shark, but no, it was the grouper. We have one hour left. Clownfish. So yeah, if I don't catch it, um, I will look into it. What bait might be useful before next time? No, that's it. We'd, we'd no. We're out of the time. We're out of time for it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to check the beach. I'm sad. I really, really wanted that to happen this episode, but there was a lot that we were trying to do all at once, to be fair. Ah! Beach cutscene! Woohoo! 
Steven, do this. Okay, hold on, let me pose you. Steven on the beach. Steven's beach shots. <laughs> Hi there, Shilab. You remember Steven? We saved him the other day. Did we? Look at the cute little claw he grew. Soon it's going to grow to its full size and he'll be back in fighting shape again. I take him out for a walk every now and then. He can't be cooped up at the inn all the time. It's so dreadfully boring there and he can't play video games to keep himself occupied. I mean, of course, damaged claw. He can't hold the controller. Today I realised I hadn't had a photo shoot with him yet. I need to show him to my parents. This is a cutscene that clearly should have been much, much earlier on. If I added that I'm, you know, late game. Yes, yeah, Stephen, just like that. Oh, Sheila, can you help me take a photo with Stephen? I mean, I was trying to look for my butterflies, but it's hay, I guess, you know. Nice job, Stephen. <laughs> These look good, Sheila. Thanks. Oh, something wrong? Look at this. We look so happy. One of these days his claw is going to grow. By then he'd be ready to go back to the ocean. Don't focus on that yet. Live in the moment. You're right. It's just I'm going to miss him so much. Well, you haven't released him yet and it's been like three years. Get better as soon as possible, Stephen, then you can return to your friends. Rightio, then. Let's have a look and see if any butterflies have gone into the flying insect traps. It doesn't look like we've had any luck today. Sad times. Oh, you know what I should do with these is put some scent on them, shouldn't I? I've got all of these upgrades that I just do not care about. You know what? Lucky pull. Lowers the fish resistance while fishing. And strong arms. I'm doing a lot of fishing lately, so I probably will be upgrading things. Diving increases the selling price of artifacts. Well, that would be good. I'm selling loads of artifacts right now. Mining increases the selling price of gems. Or oh, a chance for regular rocks to drop rare resources. Better. Yes, please. We need rare stuff. Anything that helps with rare stuff is good. Um, selling price of forage goods. Loads of processing time with bee houses. Chance to forage double light. No, bee, bee houses. Haste in nature. Uh, animal feed, chance to stay filled the next day, increases the price of animal products. Yes, let's get, get, let's get all the money. Let's get all the money. There we are. Okay, so we've done that now. It's another thing that was handy to do on camera. So yeah, overall, today, terrible luck. Absolutely terrible luck, which means we're going to have one more episode of bug hunting. <laughs> before I spend a few days just like tucked away in the caves and tucked away in the savannah cave. Um, getting myself... Whose grave is that? Does it tell me? Am I allowed to click on it? Nemo. Is that someone's fish? Or is that a dog or something? Why do I, why do I remember the name? Why is the name Nemo sort of... I think that might be their dog. But yes, we had a very, very lucky day the first day. We got the wolf spider. Let me just check this computer again before I go to bed. But I, I, think, it's, I think it is bedtime now because uh, it's time for the end of the episode. It's also, we need another day, another day, another time to sort of uh, try and see if we can get the shark. Because then I can finish that shark collection in the museum. It'd be amazing. So, yeah, the shark's going to be there. 
from six in the morning until four in the afternoon. It's not there in the evening and it's not there at night. And it's the only thing we haven't caught yet. And I'll have a look and see what bait is best for that, okay? Oh, sorry, I did say I was gonna put scents onto the traps. And then also the beach, uh, insects on the beach. Yeah, definitely the crowned hair streak butterfly should be, should be there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like nine different insects that should be there and yet, and one, two, three, four, five of them are flying and yet we're finding nothing. So it's 10 past six actually, it's a good time to do that. So I need to make flying scent. Let's see if I can do that quickly, just before we wrap up. Yeah, flying insect scent, we can make loads of that. No problem at all. Don't worry, I didn't have any rare flowers that I needed, so it's not like I'm fine. Imagine if you made rare insect scent and it made it out of your Rafflesia or something. Or your Titum Arum. Or you're like, you were keeping your Osmium Cactus. That's why whenever I get something, I hand it like straight in. I don't even think about it. I'm just like, yep, in you go. Because of the chance that I might somehow accidentally mess it up and and use it for something I shouldn't have used it for but if it's safe in the museum then we don't have to worry so oh that wasn't what I meant to do at all to use a flying insect scent on my traps to make them better at catching stuff. I've already increased my chances quite significantly by um, having so many insect traps. So I'm hoping against hope that maybe next episode we'll we'll grab that, and maybe next episode we'll grab the shark. Um, I definitely ha I've got stuff to make bait with, and I'm assuming that it's going to be large fish bait. Assuming it will be. Need to catch small fish so I can get large fish bait. Interesting. But yeah, I'll, I'll take a look into that next time. So we've, we've got... I won't sell my fish for now. I'm really glad I don't have to worry about the insects now. Like, other than the butterflies on the beach and the butterflies by the lake. That's a big relief because like early game when I was running around and insects would run, run away from me and stuff, I'd be like, oh no, I could have caught that from the museum. But now we're getting to a point where I don't have to worry about that so much. And it's quite nice. So there we are, all done. Ready for sleep. We actually did use most of the day up. So that that's good. I like it when we use a lot of the day up. When we use a lot of the day up, I feel like I've I've done a good job. So yeah, we will be back on Monday for another um, fish catching episode because I'm sure you want to see, like, I'm not going to go off camera and catch the last shark. Let's put it that way. So we'll have another day and that will allow me to look for insects and things like that. Maybe do a little bit of farm decorating or something like that if I have nothing else to do. But what I probably won't be doing is um, a lot of going into the mines and sort of going through the caves. I showed you going through the caves um, last episode just so that you could see me going through all the doors and things like that and that I know how to do that. That's just a, a little bit of a proof of concept there that I can do that. But I don't think you need to see me do that anymore. But what you probably do want to see is me opening all the coffers that I collect up at the, uh, up the thing. So I will record the, the next couple of days. I'll keep recording until the, the shark is caught, okay? And like I say, we'll do bits of decorating and bits of like maybe um, maybe I'll finish off the conveyor belts for the beehive and all little bits like that. But uh, like I say, I'm going to do all of my collecting from now on off camera. 
However, what we might do is go back to the Savannah Cave with the axe and axe a few things to see what kind of things we get. So anyway, that is going to be it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below because we did get two things from the museum today. That's actually a big thing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.